So today I'm going to be doing a thing. I'm not sure what to call it except for a thing. Um, I'm planning on... Right now I'm in my living room and in our living room we have a lazy boy kind of chair. And it, you can rock it. Which is the point of this video. Is what I was going to say. Um, we're going to be playing Splatoon in... We're going to be playing Splatoon in a rocking chair. We're actually going to start out with the Splattershot Jr. Uh, most basic weapon. First weapon again in the game is actually really good in Turf War. Um, ahead of time, I am sorry if this video was randomly cut out. I work in a motel and I am at work. It is slow, which is why I'm doing some recording and some playing with Splatoon right now. But, um, hopefully this doesn't get recorded. I'm gonna do about four battles, each one with a different weapon. Um, this is probably, this is hopefully gonna be really fun to do, and hopefully fun to watch as well. Cause, um, I'm sure there's gonna be some interesting aim when it comes to playing Splatoon in a rocking chair. I'm sorry for my background noise. <laughs> My dog is present, and she's enjoying herself with her toys, and trying to kill her bed. So let's have some fun. Um, this should be- we have two carbon roller decos. So it should be, um, entertaining to see how this goes with the aim. Whoa. Um, if you get motion sick pretty easily, I would heavily recommend you not watching this video, at least. Um, please be warned that it may cause some headaches I guess I don't know what you just call that uh, it is gonna be up and down like this for <laughs> long I fell off what did I do that uh, for a fairly long while so just be warned that this is my god didn't get up there oh insect that was perfectly placed too Air if this is your first video you're watching from me, I do heavily recommend that you go watch a different video. This is not at all in any, any indication of my skill with Splatoon. I mean, I'm not a good player at Splatoon, like, I'm not one of those who say, is there an expert or anything of the game? I'm certainly not. But I'm not, like, horrible at the game. Like this. This <laughs> It's really hard to aim when you're like going up and down like First bomb uh, Blood bomb Wow that one went well it didn't it for you bro Okay um I'm B Run! You got a bubbler, bro. <laughs> You're not gonna do well. Oh. Well, he did die, so there's a booyah for you, whoever killed him. Come on! Let's go! I don't fall! I do apologize if it's just thought, like, it appears that I'm not doing it anymore. Um, I do have to drop this thing by myself with my feet. Sometimes I do forget to do that when I focus way more on the game. It's actually kind of complicated too. Dang it! If I could aim, that'd be really helpful. I was in them zap. I won't say that I hate them zaps. I am not fond of them. Um, they are pretty powerful, and as a roller main, they do give me a lot of trouble. Sometimes if someone knows how to use them. Oh god. Did we really seriously not ink this part of it? Like, I know I don't have any right to complain, but come on, guys. I'm not pink. Oh, oh god. That actually hurt my hands more than it hurt my feet because I'm twisting my arms in a whole bunch of random positions trying to get an aim of this. At least I'm leveling up my Octarian jacket. That's kind of I got first place. Really? I covered the most turf? Really? Me? Okay, now that's something that I can complain about. I know I'm not supposed to be complaining because I'm considering I am purposely making myself horrible at the game, but come on. I'm playing Splatoon in a rocking chair and I'm not doing very well and I'm still getting first on the team. Second weapon we're going to be doing is an Aerospray RG. Um, this is actually a weapon that I used to main until I saw all the problems with it. 
And until I started using rollers. The first roller I used actually was a carbon roller deco. Because I like seekers. And when I got used to that one, I started to realize that I really liked using the rollers. And so I picked up the carbon roller. And that's become like my new main. And then I used um, the hero roller replica and the spot roller. I don't really like the crack on. I don't fully understand why everyone's so obsessed with the crack on. But I guess if that's your thing, it's cool. But I prefer my carbon rollers. I usually use the carbon roller, but I'm also using the deco quite often. Really depends on the stage. Like right now, I would not be using the deco because neither tier four stage is built for it. They would be very heavily disadvantaged. Whereas the burst bombs and the inkuga would be much more useful. So I'd personally be using um the regular carbon roller. Would you move out of my way? One thing that I really can't stand about um, some people is that it does block the way. Like, if you're standing there in front of the teammate, it does block the way. I'm actually going to try doing this in the future to get more voice recordings over the videos. Because that's what I used to do. Get out of my pink! Oh, good lord. Um, ink strike time. Where am I? I'm stuck on something. We're in ink strike right in the direct middle. Hopefully, get somebody. Did I get anybody? I can get anybody. Aww. Oh yeah. I was so close. I feel like I was so close to like killing him. Uh -huh. Ink, ink, ink. More ink. Ink everywhere. Ink strike! Well played, my friend. Ink mine. I can't. Oh no! Um, where'd you go? Ha! Booyah! <laughs> I'm actually envious of anyone who can use the nozzle nose um, very well. I've tried to use them before, and I just- I hate that you- it's not like a rapid fire shooter. I don't even understand why Nintendo don't make it that way. Like, why is it, doesn't it, like, shoot the same way that, um, like, every other single shooter in this game shoots? Isn't that just like right there? I got nothing of that, I can go up. So yeah. Whenever a teammate uses Booyah, I don't know why they're using I know some people use it like when they're like dying. Alright, that's the ink mine. I'm forgetting that I'm not holding bombs anymore. I am trying to keep this chair rocking pretty steadily. Um but can wait yeah, why are we not inking over there? So I sent it back over to our base because apparently we're over there or something. Okay, I'm gonna really go here. Oh yeah! <laughs> I'm not a very serious Splatoon player. Like, I know some people take this game super seriously and want to become competitive with it. I like competitive play, I like ranked battles, but I'm not, I'm not like super serious with this. For me, it's more fun, like, just have fun with it, it's a video game, you're not supposed to be like caring so much about it, so like have a little bit of fun with it. That's my opinion on the whole. Let's treat Splatoon more as a competitor thing than a, and then not have any fun with it. Like, have some fun with it. If you're not having Splatoon, fun with Splatoon, why are you playing it? So our first, fourth weapon, um, I was going to use the end zap. I'm not sure if I... Because I'm going to use one of the buckets. Don't tell me to call it a slosher. I use... It's a bucket. <laughs> I like the buckets. It's not like I'm calling them a bucket because I hate it. I like the bucket. I'm going to be using an end zap 85. For the, for the eco-locator and the spot bombs, and the sprinkler, in my opinion. But um, I do, I do like the bucket. I'm not 
calling it a bucket because I hate it. Don't get me wrong, I do like it. It's just more fun to call it a bucket. So as soon as we find a battle, we will join with our end zap. Um, I'm not very good with the end zap. Even if I wasn't playing in a rocking chair right now, I would not be very good with it. I've never been very good with the end zap. I've met some, like, godly players with this thing. I can't do it. But at the same, at the same time, that's the same with every weapon. Like, I am a very good player with my roller. Um, and I know a lot of people who can't use rollers for the life of them. So, I mean, it's all a matter about your personal skill set. Um, I'm personally best with rollers and with things like rollers and buckets and brushes. Like, things that are, like, direct hand-on-hand -hand combat, I'm very good with. I fell off again. But, um, things like... I ended it with some wet shooters, like the, um... The, the, the heavy spotlight, I'm very good. Fuck. Oh, that's what I was also I was gonna, I was gonna use the time attack. Um, if this recording isn't too long by the end of this battle, perhaps I will use, um, what the hell again? I will use the time attack as well as the, um, bucket. I really want to use the bucket. I mean, it's not gonna be much of a difference in the range, but it does make kind of interesting because one second you're seeing your, um, flashing upwards and the next second you're flashing downwards. I mean, if you're flashing downwards, it's not really much of a difference. Dang it. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, you died too. Oh, thank you for killing. Oh, I had an e echolocator. I feel like I should be focusing on doing my echolocator rather than trying to kill anybody. Ink hurt people. Do we have like going on here? Ink ink. Um, kind of, I guess. Sort of. <laughs> I guess this is sort of ink. Okay. What is somebody doing up there? better that'd be great. Super jump out of here, you coward. Okay, now that's, that's actually a really good idea. <laughs> like, I should probably utilize that a lot more often, but I never think of super jump. Like, I just think, like, in my immediate response is, like, fight or, fight or flight. I don't think of super jump. I probably should more often because I'd probably die a whole lot less. But it, it never really occurs to me because, like, when I'm in danger, just super jump away. I said, we're not that much. Um, I like, um. Dang it. <laughs> ten attack! Damn, ten attack! Two people with that? Holy crap. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so that was a kind of a sad game. Apparently one of a sniper. Did we have a sniper? Somebody escaped at least. Yeah, we had a sniper. He apparently decided to go his own way and he kind of escaped and did a little bit on their side. I got the best score. How does this sort of make you need that? If you were below level 10, I couldn't understand, but you're level 25. Unless she's doing something like I am, which would be pretty hilarious. Um, we're gonna say no. We're at 14 minutes. I try to keep my videos between 15 to 20 minutes, um, so we're gonna move to the slasher. If I decide we have time, then we might do the 10 attack. Let's go, slasher! I would use the bucket more often if it was a rapid fire weapon. Um, aw, oh, dang it. <laughs> but it's like, you, it's. Constant bush button mashing and it hurts your hands after a while. But I definitely do like using it. Um, when I want to break from my roller or from the heavy spotlight, I do try to use a slasher. Like if I'm doing ranked. Um, if I'm doing turf wars, I'll just use anything that I feel like using. I don't really care. Um, because I like just screwing around in ranked. And I mean in turf wars. Just kind of screw around. Alright, let's do this. Hopefully the bucket will go better than anything else. Okay, 
Um, I don't know I'm trying to time this a little bit. That can go without off. What is my... went really horribly actually. Um, there were more people up there than I expected. Oh sweet, I got somebody. Okay. Is there somebody else here? No you don't. Take it. <laughs> there are two people there. I got spotted by a point fifty two gal deco. Okay. I am sorry if the rock you think it's isn't I don't know if I've mentioned this before but I do have to do this um on my other hand, and, to, and I am using this at really odd angles. Can I get better? Oh, it is so helpful if I have um, you know, actual ink in my bucket. Oh yeah, I picked out a few people. One that apparently has no name. <laughs> I kind of wish I had an actual rock in here to play this game in. It's super, super fun. This is actually making me kind of dizzy. I do apologize if this is making other people dizzy, but in my defense, I did give you a warning at the beginning of the video to be careful watching this if you get motion sickness. I fell down again. Um, ink strike, um. Here, I guess. Oh, Stiper, I forgot about him. He just has one tiny pipe of ink up there. But your retrospect is actually not very good for a sniper to have because if you need to run and hide, you have nowhere to hide in. Sorry, I'm not. Why do you just go around me? I just noticed that suction bomb. <laughs> it was setting up. It was actually not my most brilliant moment um, with the suction bomb. Um, last night I was playing power control on the new stage and I tried to spot a suction bomb. I did that twice. So I think that would be my brilliant moment with um, suction bombs was apparently trying to hit one. I have no idea what I was doing. And I did that in ranked too. That was my brilliant moment in ranked. So I got fourth place. Um, I'd say almost 500 points isn't bad with the bucket. I mean, usually I can get almost a thousand with it, but hey, considering my aim right now and how oh, we're switching stages, 